Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Jorge Hernandez with The Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with Cody East. How you feeling, man? Big main event that's coming up next Friday. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm ready. This fight's been taking forever to get here. It's like a long fight camp. Uh, I'm just excited to be fighting here in Albuquerque again. Is that because of how it's been long because of how anxious you are or because of how intense this camp uh, has been? I'm anxious and I had some contract issues with King of the Cage. Yeah. So it's been like a year since I fought. You know what I mean, like I've been, I've been in here in the gym, but uh, the closer it gets along, it, it's time, it seems like time's slowing down. So I'm, I'm ready to go, though. Have all those issues been taken care of? Yeah, I'm good. I, I've got to deal with Legacy now, so I'm going to win this title, and then uh, I should defend it three more times here in Albuquerque or sign with the UFC. One, I have a UFC buyout, so if I win this fight, UFC wants me, that's where I'm going. So, How close do you feel that you're to that? I, I mean, you're 8-1 and one right now. You're kind of, you know. I, I've, I've been in contact with UFC. We've, we've talked, and we had some issues that we had to take care of, but those have been resolved. So if I, I finish this guy in... Uh, uh, spectacular fashion, knocked him out or something, I'm sure I'll be here. Now you're, you're fighting Vernon Lewis, who started his career 0-2, but in the last four fights, the guy's been on a tear. Three stoppages, one submission. Have you seen a few highlights of him? If so, what do you think? Yeah, he started off 0-2, but both guys he lost to were successful. I mean, Ryan Martinez and uh, uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but he's like 9-1 and, and Ryan's a decent fighter, so it's not like he lost to two bums. Yeah. And he's learned a lot, Vernon. He's tough, but I think I'm just too well-rounded for him. Yeah. As far as this gym, you've been at Jackson's, but you've also, I think you've trained at a few community centers or whatever it might be. Do you just feel work anywhere is, is the key to success here? Yeah, there's no such thing as bad work, so I, I work everywhere. You I mean, I, I bring different aspects of my game to everybody. You can't just be at one gym. I like to move. This is where I do all my sparring and stuff out of, but I work boxing out of San Jose and bring in boxing coaches, so I, I like to, you can learn something from everybody. Now, a victory over Vernon Lewis will give you another heavyweight title. Of course, you have the king of the cage. What would that do to add to your resume there? It would be great. I mean, that, that should be the next step to UFC. I'm just hoping I keep the deal after that. It's, it's a pretty good title, legacy. Uh, I watched it on TV. I'm, I'm happy to fight for him. So. Now, this card, I believe you have four other teammates on the card. What's yeah. the gym atmosphere been like? Because so many of you are on... Yeah, this big legacy card. It's it's good. I mean, it's a little rough this week. Uh, not for me because I don't got to cut weight, but everybody else is looking a little, little skinny around here. So, <laughs> but uh, they're 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 even more happy because I get to eat in a, next week. So yeah, you know, you brought up boxing. Is there you know? Do you have any plans to ever go back? The two guys you beat were you know no slouches themselves. Yeah, no, I, I'd box. I mean, I'd box a week after this fight if I had the chance. I just can't find no one that wants to box me. Yeah. I mean, uh, I worked trying to work a deal with Frescus. I want to try to get a boxing match with Kimbo Slice. Is what I really want to do, because he's boxing now, and I think it'd be a good fight. It'd be fun. Yeah. Now, how has that been? That relationship with Frescus to put you on this card. How has all that gone for you? It's been good. You know, with Holly signing with the UFC, it's opened up doors for me to take over and to her spot. They need someone to hide that big show, so I'm I'm doing that. I think I'm doing a good job of. Uh, selling tickets and getting the, the show sold out. Now this gym, uh, there's no lack of superstars and fighters and you've kind of flown under the radar. Do you think it's to your advantage a lot of the time? Uh, yeah, it could be. If people don't know who I am, they're in for a big surprise, you know what I mean? But I, I've been in here with the best in the world and I do more than hold my own, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm right there with anybody. I could, uh, I could fight with anybody. We were doing mitts here. We saw you doing mitts with Wink. What's that relationship been like? And everyone here at the gym. Smith's, uh, Mike's awesome, I mean, he's, dev he's some devastating techniques, I mean, he's really got me to sit down, warm my punches, and not get so wild, and create different angles, and I've, I think I got a lot to show this fight. I have one main question, I think. What's your issue with social media? I don't think you're on anything. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> people, uh, a lot of people go on there and they bug me and talk smack, and, uh, but I do have, I do have a Facebook. Okay. I do, recently, <laughs> as part of my legacy contract. That you need so a fan page. Look, look up Cody the Freight Train East. And make sure you guys go like that page. Yeah, so, go like that page. No, no Twitter, no Instagram, none of uh, that to distract uh, you? No, nah, I, don't, I don't play around <laughs> on that too much. Finally, a message to all your fans. Uh, I just want to thank you guys, I mean, for everything, all my sponsors, uh, you guys are awesome. My wife and my, my daughter, love you guys. Cody East against Vern Lewis, Legacy FC 36 heavyweight title fight. Make sure you guys go check it out.